Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to put a face onto paper money, make it look like a steel engraving, blend it into the money itself, and add a name to the face. I covered this subject quite a while ago on earlier versions of Photoshop. Due to its popularity, I'm updating it now, making it easier and more effective. I provided this paper money template for you to download. It includes this paper money template and a shape that we'll place our photo into. Its link is located in my video's description or project files. Open a photo of someone you'd like to use for this project. It could be color or black and white. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl Shift U on Windows or Command Shift U on a Mac. To adjust its brightness and contrast, press Ctrl or Command Shift L to invoke Autotone. Go to Image and Image Size. Make its resolution 72 pixels per inch and its height 870 pixels. Its width automatically changes to a different amount because the height and the width are linked. Click OK. To fit it back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. Next, we'll create the line pattern that we'll use to make our photo look like a steel engraving. Go to File and New. Make the width and the height 3000 pixels each and the resolution 72 pixels per inch. Then click OK. We'll fill it with 50% gray by pressing Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the fill window. Open the flyout list and click 50% gray. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they aren't, press D on your keyboard. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the sketch folder and click Halftone Pattern. Make the pattern type line, the size 1, and the contrast 50. Then click OK. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. Make the number of generators 1, the wavelength 159 and 160, the amplitude 20 and 48, and the scale 100%. The type is sign and tick repeat edge pixels. Then click OK. To place the pattern onto your photo, just drag it onto the tab of your photo and without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold Shift as you drag it down onto the photo and release. Pressing Shift kept the pattern centered over the photo. Change the blend mode to overlay. Make a copy of the pattern by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Invert the copy by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Go to Edit, Transform, and rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Make a composite snapshot of your image by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E on Windows or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Now, drag your composite snapshot onto the tab of the money template and without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the template and release. Click on the channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or Command click on the black and white thumbnail to make a selection of its shape. Open back up your Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to your photo. Click off the chain link between the layer and the layer mask. Now we can resize and reposition either of them independently of each other. 
Click the photo to make it active. To resize and reposition your photo, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. To reposition it, just go inside the transform and drag it. Continue until you're happy with its size and position. Then press Enter or Return. Change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. To lighten the dark areas of the face, click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Exposure. To restrict the Exposure Adjustment Layer to affect only the face and not the other layers under the face, click the Clipping Mask icon or you can press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Slide the Gamma Correction to the left until the dark areas of the face closely matches the dark tones of the paper bill. We can always go back and adjust it later if we want. We're ready to add the last name of the person. Make the face layer active. Open your Horizontal Type tool and open your list of fonts. I'm using Legal Tender Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. I'll make it size 13 points, smooth, and center alignment. Click the color box and click a dark part of the bill to pick up that specific color. The hexadecimal code for the color I clicked is 2A3436. However, yours may have a different code depending on exactly where you clicked. Click the top layer to make it active. Our text will be placed above it. Press Z to open your zoom tool and drag it over the arched banner to zoom into that area. Hover your cursor over the center of the banner and press T to open your type tool. Click on your document and type out the last name of the person. Click the Warped Text icon. Open the list of Warp presets and click Arc. Make the bend 18% and click OK. Open your Move tool and drag the name over the banner. If the text seems to be sticking a little, go to View and make sure Snap isn't checked. If it is, just click on it to deactivate it. Center the text over the banner. To see your entire image at 100%, press Ctrl or Command 1. I'd like to lighten the dark areas of the face more, so I'll make the Exposure Adjustment Layer active and slide the Gamma Correction to the left a bit. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.